Hey guys, we're back. Uh, we're still doing this stash here. Uh, uh, we're going to get started on this guy, but I want to show you uh, what I did on the other. Uh, I broke daylight through on this arm and on this arm and through the legs. So basically that's what we're going to do right now. And, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get started on this guy and we'll go from there. All right, first of all, I'm going to take a gouge and start gouging the weight in between these legs. <clears throat> Working it down to where I drew my lines. And I may have to turn it over here and work this way. <clears throat> and this is quite a bit of wood removal, but it has to be done. And I'm going to work here. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. Okay. And this is a little flex cut thumbnail gouge. I've got a number 11. You don't necessarily have to have these, but it, this is a good tool to have. <clears throat> and then I'll turn around, work a little bit more on this side. Actually, I'm going to go in now and take a number 7 gouge uh, let's see, I need to turn around here and get it out of my, out of my box here. Here's a number seven, and I'm going to come in and start working with this gouge to separate this wood. And this has a nice sweep to it to really get in there and grab that wood I need to, for it to come off on. <clears throat> That's not going too fast, is it, Peyton? Nope. All right. And when you get down in here, it gets kind of congested, so you have to use some. A little gouge before you can really scoop in between these feet. And this old stash, his uh, pant leg really has a it's kind of a bell bottom type pant leg. Can you see that, Peyton? All right. Yep. All right. All right, I'll go back this little number 11 and scoop away. Raise that crotch up just a little bit more. It's not as even as what the other side is. And I'm going to come in between here now. Can you get a shot on that, Peyton? Yep. How about that right there? Yep. All right. I do see a little bit of mark there, so I'm going to take my upsweep knife blade and remove this router marks and this is the beauty of an upsweep you can come in there it acts like a gouge almost and you can shave it down and 
once again this guy's going he's going to take us a little while longer uh, as far as filming videos there's a lot of wood to work in this guy okay that's pretty much where I want to be right there I'm going to start breaking through on this uh, these arms right in here so I take that number 11 again and start trying to find daylight through here through this arm and you just kind of work through this way this side a little bit then you turn it around and that's got a deep U shape in it so that's what's good about this right in here it really gets the depth that I want and just kind of keep working at it and then you can go in with a number seven start working this way a little bit uh, and start breaking through on the other side I've already see daylight through there And once I get the daylight through there, I want to go in now with a straight edge knife and start cleaning that inner arm up and the uh, side of the chest. <clears throat> and I'm doing another one and I I'll, I'll compare it here in just a minute and, and show you where we're at. But there's the daylight through. It probably be, needs to be opened up just a little bit more. But while I'm in here now, I'm going to take, I'm going to start removing wood right up in here so I'm going to take a deep V which I got to turn around and reach my V here I thought I had it out here a large V tool and I'm going to come in here and start working this way And then here in the back. And when you're doing this in here, you want to take more away from the inner body and not the arm. You take too much off the arm and you're gonna it's gonna look funny. How's that looking, Peyton? And Good. how much time are we going at? Ten here? minutes. Oh, okay, we got, we got some good time here. And if you look on this guy here, his hand, he's got daylight all the way down to where his hand starts. So this is really a, a, really a uh, place that we really want to work at. Uh, and you want to start about right in here where this hand is. Start working that. Get it down as far as you can with the V tool. And then you want to take your knife and start. Oh, let's see, I want the heavy uh, upsweep knife here. And start removing a little bit more wood coming through and 
trying to find the daylight through there. It might take you a while, but that's the fun of carving, is getting it done. And I like to show daylight through. Some people that say would say, "Oh, I'm just not. I'm gonna leave it. Leave it like it is." But when you get a little bit of daylight through your showing, it just it just makes the carving stand out that much more. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll work on this one after we uh, finish this video and clean him up a little bit more and uh, work on the other one so I'll show you what I'm going to do next time on the other one. How we doing on time, Peyton? You and I? Been about four minutes. Four minutes? Okay. Well, right there, I'm going to go ahead and it, it's going to take me a little while longer to go through there. But uh, I'm going to, right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, develop uh, for the, the brow, the, the uh, eye line, the brow line right up in here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it in so we'll have it in profile wise. I just want to catch myself up to where I was on the other guy. How's that looking, Pete? Can you see it? Yep. I'm going to have to turn it over here, so. Okay. That's that's the profile I'm looking for right right there. If you look at a little arch in the nose, we want to have that. Now I want to put the around these ears here also. So I'm gonna uh, take a pencil. I thought I thought I had all my tools out. And I'm going to shade in this where I'm going to cut this out. Well, I got this one shaded. But I go in right in here. Make me a deep stop cut there. One in here. And one across here. And I got that ear rounded. How about that? Can you see it, Peyton? Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here and do this ear. This is just a little chip cut technique. And then it rounds that ear. It took off a little bit more than I wanted it to, but... That's the way we want it to be. Now this little, this little right here area is a little puffed up. So I'm going to kind of tuck it up underneath the, crown, the brim of the hat. And when I do that, it makes this ear stand out a little more. And I'm also going to do it on this side over here. Oh, I don't need it too much on this side. Now, how many, how, we, how we doing on time, Pete? Got about two minutes. Two minutes. All right, I'm gonna make a cut right down here and separate this ear here. From the sideburn area. And then I'm gonna do it on this side. How's it looking, Peyton? 
Good. All right. So we stay pretty much in focus. To, yep. I know it's kind of hard sometimes. But we're really, uh, how many, well, what we got on time, Pete? About in a minute. I want to scoop away right there and come in right here. This will catch us up to where we're at. Now, all right, we're pretty much caught up. I'm going to go in and get him more cleaned up and, and do a little bit more work around the feet and uh, just clean it up a little bit. And then uh, we're going to get into this face a little bit more uh, on the next uh, go around. So, uh, uh, and we're going to get him looking like this right here. And he's coming along. And once again, uh, I want to say happy carving to everyone, and uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you later, and uh, take care.